Hello everybody, welcome to the quarter-final preview of Champions Cup 49. As you can see the draw there, we've got Need Some Health, which is High Elves coached by Luminous Light, versus Surf Quest DOG, which is Necromantic, coached by Andy Davo. Then we've got Rowdy Flippin' Dice, is Amazons, coached by Martin Septim, versus The Forest Brethren, which is Wood Elves, coached by Tycho25. Then we've got Purple Chest with um, Dwarves, Funtime Happy Team, versus Elliot's Vampires, which are Reckless Rampires. Uh, Cribro's Critters are Skaven, coached by Sad Lad, versus I Revel's Chofs, which is 49 Cats with Claws. In the booth with me is Kalon and Fymir. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello there. I'm really impressed you were able to read all that, remembering the name of the coaches. It's really good, isn't it? It's almost like I had a had something helping me. <laughs> All right. So well, yeah. Well done. It was very impressive. Yeah. Thank you. So first up, yeah, we've got Luminous here, twenty six seven five record, pretty good record, pretty nice team, two thousand TV. Um, yeah, yeah, it's so it's two thousand uh, TV helves. Um, there's nothing hugely special about it. He did manage to get another move up, and this one was on a catcher. Has the two move up blitzers. Uh, which I think are fine um, from when he got them, um, and uh, yeah, but did also get a move up um, sure on on the sure hands, which is really really nice. That move nine is great. So he's got a bunch of really fast elves and so much blodge step. Yes, yes. well, the only one guard. So, yeah, I mean uh, it's, it's it's light on lots of stuff. It's not a particularly cool team, but. Uh, as far as high elves go on normals, this is pretty great. Like, it's a lot of blood step and rod step. I, re I think it's fine. I think it's fun. I think, uh, I think you can definitely do some more work in the next round. Yeah, yeah. Five blood step. He's got pretty injured, pretty injured lineman there. Yeah. With edge three and move five, but um. I mean, just. Whatever. Yeah, it's interesting. And funny enough, the the side step will be, will be interesting against yeah. the the. Werewolves of Andy Davos team. To, I was about to make a terrible joke about how those linemen aren't great, but you can just throw them to the wolves. Hey, that's exactly what's going to happen anyway. So. Yeah, it hundred percent is. Oh, he's got a pump, but he didn't get you. Look at that. He, he's so close to having tackle for this game. That would have been crucial, wouldn't it? But uh, he doesn't have tackle on his pom white. Uh, two tackle first. Yeah, didn't he? Just level that guy. Yeah, he did level him pretty recently, I think. Yeah. Uh, he leveled him in the last game. Oh no! He, yeah, he leveled the tackle in the last game. He leveled the tackle in the last game. So he's taken tackle. He leveled just the guard guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, he leveled the yeah he leveled the guard guy and took tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to get out. Sorry. But he didn't level um, this one. Like he could no, have he had two not. tacklers. Would have been unbelievable, wouldn't it? I mean, especially with the the clone mighty, yeah, but are the with the piling on. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there it, it's a cool looking team. It's Davo. He's got a lot of guard, which is great. Uh, the ghoul is fine. The two whites are fine. The golems are nice. Uh, neither of the uh, wolves having dodge is problematic. Uh, now he did lose a wolf in round one and got a guy and uh, bought a new fella for round two and has him had got him leveled. So um, and he's very good at scoring on the right elf. Um, he is genuinely really, really good at score at, at getting levels. Yeah, uh, he knows how to maximize SPP. Yeah. But the does. problem with his uh, Necro team is, you know, the day is two players: mm -hmm. the Ghoul, which is the ball carrier, and if that uh, anything happens to that Ghoul, that's it. There is no a real ball carrier around. Yeah. And the Wolf with a mighty blow uh, tackle. Yeah. If those two. Something happens to them, the elves are going to have a massive advantage because one of the wolves only has block, and mm -hmm. the rest of the team, you know, there is a white with a tackle but not mighty blow, and the one with pylon doesn't have tackle. So, yeah. you know, protecting those two players is going to be key. Yeah, it really and is. The ghoul having guard at some point, well, he has more than enough guard, so he, he doesn't need to risk uh, him yeah, do anything, but he's the he's... one that has to carry the ball. He, he has been plugging him in, um, playing him on defense, and has been plugging him in into positions he wouldn't normally put your ghoul in. But, um, you know, it was, the, it was the right move at the right time, and uh, it's worked out for him. Um, I mean, he, he does have, uh, like, a bit of money to play with here as well. And um, uh, 
his team is like fine and it's Davo. So I think uh, on the overall look of, look of it, it's a fine team. It's perfectly fine. Is it good as, as good as the elves? Probably not. But then the elves have like 200 and something K on it. So that's probably fine. Yeah. Um, I mean, he could take Cheney, maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. I think he'll take a wizard and a and a babe, right? A wizard and a bribe. Wizard and a bribe, yeah, I think so. Because yeah. he's got that dirty yeah. player, hasn't he? And that can, does, like, there's yeah. so many good elves. You can foul any elf and it'll be yeah. a good, good that's value. It. Foul. Yes, yes, I mean, yes. Yeah. Two of those bloodsteppers are uh, wrestle as well, so all he needs to do is just get them on the ground yeah. and then. But this Andy Devo team, yes, and uh, I put in the glass cannon. Uh... <laughs> Division because that's it. That's uh, two K two K players. That anything happens to them, you know, it's like things are gonna be much more difficult. I mean, you can afford to lose, you know, one of the first golems because after all, you have more than enough uh, guard, you know, to get two dice all over the place. Yeah. But uh, to stop the elves, you know, you need to do your fast pieces, and there are only three fast pieces in this uh, team, and yeah. one of them is a werewolf with block, which is like okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 very good, good point. You, only, only one ghoul. He can't buy a second ghoul. So yeah, it's. I, I kind of hate the one. Some people even go no ghoul bills, and I hate those. Like, I hate zero ghouls. But even one ghoul, I'd rather have a second. But um, you know, this is very TV efficient, and yeah, he's getting two thirty inducements. So maybe he's two up to two seventy. You could maybe mm -hmm. even get three ten. So maybe he's even more. So interesting to see what he does. But I imagine he'll just go wizard and wizard and I have wizard to say and yeah. that I will prefer instead of the, that the second new wolf. If that was a ghoul and he already have a six SPP, that ghoul will have blotch. Yes, I would. Yep. Have, I would have rather taken the second. Second, well, uh, as it happens, I mean, we did say it at the time as well because he had the, it was the the fact that he had the the um, he he lost him in the first game and he was move bust, yeah. and it was a it was block tackle, and um, it was move bust and he fired it before the game with Baza and then bought the new wolf, and we were saying at the time that probably a better play would have been to just play without him and buy a ghoul. Yeah. Um, and then have got the ghoul to bludge and you know this team would look a lot healthier and with the with even with the move boss thing i mean you know by all means fire the guy earlier on but like it's knockout stages you keep a move seven block tackle wolf, I think. yeah anyway so a great record as well that we skip we skip by oh yeah 100%. Team, yeah great record great record here as well for martin seven twenty three four four very good to get such a good record with amazons i can only off my cap to people who can, you know, get good records with Amazons. They must be truly the best coaches in Blood Bowl. Um, oh, massive, massive. I'd say they've massive willies in Minecraft. Yeah. Yep. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, they must be absolutely legends. You know, people that they, their birthday was uh, yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got he's got this strength fives on, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Even though it hasn't got any skills. Uh, oh, I've been begging for him to, to fucking score on it or do something with it, but. Uh, it's not quite got there. Martin played some lovely blood bowl in round one and round two. The last round wasn't the best I've seen him play, but he did enough to get himself through it. Um, and the team is cool. I like it. Um, it's not amazing, but it's got lots. Of, it's got lots of stuff, which is pretty cool. Yes, he has lots of gar. Yeah, and a strength five, and a really and nice ball carrier, five. even if they're niggled. And um, and the yeah, well yeah. Would you take? Would you have taken piling on there over the juggernaut? Maybe Jimmy. I don't know. No, I'd have taken guard. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have taken guard first. I I think for uh, this kind of CCL environment, having a juggernaut, you know, versus a high uh, level mm -hmm. coaches that are gonna make things very difficult and very good, and they are very good at positioning and they are gonna have a lot of wrestle and all that. I think juggernaut has more valor. Are used than uh, piling uh, on because just having the juggernaut player, you know, makes things uh, much easier versus a lot of races. I mean, heavy yep. wrestle uh, teams, you know, they are uh, doomed that that thing, you know, that Richard killing, you know, uh, gutter runners or uh, linos or anything like that, you know. Yeah, for sure. Uh, not bad against uh, the occasional wrestle elf and what have you. I do think like one of the reasons not to take piling on is because so if anybody didn't get the joke that I was having a, a joke at Jimmy's expense there, if you didn't get the reference, you need to go onto YouTube and watch uh, Jimmy's uh, uh, current Amazon run uh, because there was a, 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 such a dilemma was posed, but without giving the rest of it away, you do should catch up on all of that on his YouTube. 
Yep. Um, Thanks. All the games, you need to watch all the games all of them. to <laughs> all of them. get the full story there, you yeah. know? Otherwise, we'll just be making references you don't get, and you won't feel like you're, you know, in the in crowd. And, uh, exactly, you, left you out. won't feel included, you know, yeah. and this is... Yeah. I mean, really and we're very inclusive on this channel. Uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> yes, yes. And, uh, you know, we, I mean, you know, we might be able to buy a kebab, but like, you'll have no glory. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. That's all exactly. I'm saying. There you go. So this is a pretty great team here, and he is up against Tycho25. Um, is yeah, the so Wood Elves. He Tycho's Wood Elves, console. yeah. Yeah, I, I, he's got not a huge amount actually. Uh, Tycho's done really well. Um, he's had a nice little run through, and uh, I've seen him play before, but uh, I, I don't think this is his first chalice. But he's had a lovely run all the way through. Uh, it's a nice wood elf team built almost exclusively around the one dancer. Um, his other dancer, unfortunately, uh, you know, got deaded, um, which is something that happens, dancers, and uh, not a tear was shed. Uh, nice record. Um, but yeah, it's all about that one dancer. Um, mighty blow, strength, tackle. The pro, not really type of skill I'd pick. I, you know, no. strip ball is obviously better. Sidestep would have been better. Um, what would you have taken over, pro? Sidestep. Yeah. Probably sidestep, yes. Even Frenzy, right, with the strength fall? Yes, yeah, it's, it's not terrible, yeah. But I, I mean, this step. is uh, with uh, Catcher uh, out of the game. And probably mm. out of life. <laughs> it's yeah. uh... so doing Martin a bit of a favor by not having that guy in there because it does mean that the team value is that little bit lower. So okay, um... he has high potential for one tunnels with all that sure feed, you know, uh, catchers. But yeah. they... Do they have sprint. Do they have... Oh, they do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, yes, they have, they have yeah. a sprint. Oh, do they? Sure oh, cool. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, pretty much one dancer, isn't it? It's one, it is. Yeah. It's one dancer. Yes, this is one dancer and the tree with a grab to make things easier for the one turn. Yeah. And all that, you know, but... It's kind of fine. Um, it's not really great. Um, he's played well and he's done well to get himself all the way through here. But um, I mean, it's... it's. I, I don't think... I, I think if, if he can... If that dancer doesn't pop, uh, then he's in for a world of hurt. And, I, I um, think this is the team that every single player has a blotch or a grudge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think this is. I think this could be the end for Tycho. I think this could be the end of yeah. his run. But he's had a great run. Um, he has, you know. yeah, and fair play to him. Well done. Yep. But, and he, he can still win, like still Wood Elves, right? But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I do think uh, Martin is a big favourite there. And I've got I think P so. PC 23 2. Very nice record. Yeah, really nice record. And really nice team. Very TV efficient again. And there is a long beer there with a level that is probably yeah, I don't know. Probably going oh. to be a stand firm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's got a he, it's it's rolled hedge, but he's not gonna take it. Uh, just answer Fan Fox question. Uh it, the sprint skill is, is not. It's uh, the, the the wood elf catchers come with sprint. It's a running joke. See YouTube, you have to be up to date on these jokes so that we can all make fun of uh, each other and you can you can join in. Um but yeah, no, it's it, they, they they no longer have sprint in 2020, but in the in this rule set in Blood Bowl 2, oh, yeah, um, well, they they do they do indeed come with. Um, they don't have a sprint, sprint in 2020. They no, they nerf. took it away. No. Big nerf, big nerf to Woody's. Like, I mean, they it? still they still start with dodge and catch, but yeah, no sprint. Um, so yeah, this is. I mean, this is sick, wasn't it? Four, five mighty blow, eight yeah. guard. Yeah. Um, three stun. That's film. a lot of guard. Yeah. Uh, has an AG four there. Good, a blotch uh, runner is a very nice uh, dwarf team. It is really, really nice. Um, it's nice and lean. Uh, 12 men, uh, oh, he's not going to take the agility, but he gets an extra stand stand firm. Um, more than likely stand firm, I can't really see any other thing to take. Um, so, uh, yeah, and took the edge on the backup runner, uh, which is really, really nice. Just to have a, an agility four. I mean, it's um, four. You, ha you have to take it. Yeah, With yeah runners, for sure. Runners, blitzers, the uh, dwarves, you have to take the edge. Yeah, yeah, pretty and much. It's, it's what's inter what's super interesting is he's got three rerolls plus the uh, plus the leader, so mm. he's, he's got plenty of rerolls, which is. A pretty cool thing to have with the overtime well, format. Well, it stuff. is, but I mean, with the game against Eliad, he could do some shenanigans with that as well, though, Jim. Right? Because exactly, yeah. um, Eliad is based 
Eli Eliot is in a situation where he's like, well, we're going to have a look at his team in a minute. But I mean, there's there's not really much else to say about this team. Really, it's a really nice team being coached by an excellent dwarf coach, even though he's really a, 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 an elf coach, as we all know. Yeah, um, he says that he is, but uh, he's a dwarf yeah. coach. <laughs> Nineteen five three, great record from Eliot, and not a great team. Uh, he, he's got a great vampire <laughs> and a tackle vampire and some wrestle, so you know, he's got enough right on the rest of the team. Only two rerolls, very very TV efficient. Two rerolls plus yeah. leader. Um, it's crazy efficient. Yeah, it's just all on, well, it's all on the big vamp bit. Pretty much. He's gonna have around uh, four hundred uh, team. Uh, Value difference, so it's going to be Cheney and a Wizard, probably. I mean, Cheney and a Wizard is pretty much the obvious call. Um, Cheney just brings so much to the fore. Cheney can do a job on Dwarfs. Um, you know, the, the the strength four is great. The wrestle is really annoying to hit. And, um, and of course, his, his, the claw is, is pretty great. If he manages to get some high rolls in, it can be, you know, devastating to a Dwarf team. Um, he's only running on nine players, so we do have to add 80 to that TV as well. Um, so it's going um, to be 300 difference uh, or something like that with the... Uh... Yeah. yeah. So this is the reason I bring it up, because he does have a reroll he can burn. He does have 12th man that he can burn. I mean, you don't really need 12 dwarves. It's not interfering with his bank, so he can just buy it all back after the next game um, mm -hmm. if he decides to do so. And it could really scupper Eliod's um, plans because of the fact that Eliod had built this entire team about, around getting Cheney and, uh, and our Erlice. Um, who he really likes for some reason. Um, wow. Yeah. Wow, what a loon. But I mean, you know, Eliod can also cut all three of these guys. So Eliod yeah. can cut 80k if he wants. He can, yeah. You know, and just go with a million a loner army. So it'll be interesting to see what, what happens there, yeah, inducements wise. But uh, it's mostly going to come down to this, this vampire, isn't it? And see what he does. He's, and... he's fucking lovely. He's <laughs> such a great vampire. He's amazing. Yep. And he could easily win Chalice by himself. Yep. Correct. <laughs> yeah. But also right. the whole the whole team could just get banged out very very quickly by uh, PC. So it will I mean, be interesting. No research, no research for a vampire team is going to mm. be losing men all over the, mm. the place. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe that could be something that he looks into instead of taking like whatever is left over. You take Cheney and um, uh, grab a couple of extra bodies for the bench. Cheney, of course, gives you the extra bench as well. So yeah, yeah interesting. Really yeah. He's so good. Good as the good as boy. Yeah. 3276 for Sad Lad and his rats. And uh, this is a funny old team, isn't it? He's got this weird this weird grab stand firm one. He's got uh, prone stuff. He's got two unbelievable gutters and, and no natty. Um, there you go. This team has been, like, really fun to watch. It's Those two gutters have just been doing the most bullshit fucking asshole guttery runner things the entire way through Chalice and I've been entirely behind it. It's been really, really fun. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, I just disgusting. Realize. Yeah, they're they're great. Um <laughs> even the, the, the shit one is still like super fast and blood step and um yeah it like it's just really really cool. I really like the the weird um build that he's got on his um on his gutter runners. Um, it, so Chantry is of the opinion that uh, if you manage to get, uh, if one of them goes claw, then uh, the other guy goes guard, uh, because if the claw guy gets another double, you can make it either um, jump up our um, horns, and the other guy can go dodge and guard, and the stand firm there, so I think he was kind of hoping he'd get a, a, a dodge on that guy so that he'd have a blodge firmer, um, but as it is, he's been great, and he's been really, really useful. Um, he's been pretty lucky, Satellite, not to have got banged out. He's survived quite a lot of stuff. Uh, Rick put a foul in on one of those gutters, didn't he? Was that this chalice? Yeah, I mean, it? yeah. Rick put a, ch a foul in on him uh, after knocking him down, and put a foul in on him and didn't break armor. It was like he literally, it, it was a two would have sent him off, and a and a three would have broken or a four would have broken armor, and he rolled the three. Um, and then he got up, jumped out, picked up the ball in a bunch of tackle zones, lofted it to another guy, and that guy just fucked off the other side of the pitch and scored. Mm -hmm. um, in beautiful rat fashion. So um, only one lineman rat that has survived anything. All the rest of them clearly <laughs> have been replaced yeah. many, many times because I'm, all of them are on zero SPP. Zero SPP. And like, I mean, he's a lad doing his job as well. He's got block and kick. So fucking, you know, 
He, yes, he, I think yes. he even keeps him off on defense so that he has the kick because it's that effective on a team like this when you've got two straight three gutter runners that can just go anywhere they fucking want. Yeah, it's, it's a cool wild. team. But yeah, it's, it is well. He's up against it in, the, in his next one. This could be the team that bangs him out. Yeah. Because it's iRavel, basically the same TV, 1900 versus 1890, 26.53, great record. Great and record. oh, yeah, it's because he's missing this guy. Funnily enough, he's probably happy to be missing that guy, right? Because if he wasn't missing him, he'd be giving a <laughs> wizard to the wizard. Yeah, 100%. Uh, but yeah, yeah, great, great team for the uh, Chorfs. It is, it's, it's pretty beautiful. Um, just the one claw, but he's got palm, uh, gives a shit about his agility. Um, yeah, he's it's just lovely. The Ooh, blood string five, five for bull. Yeah, he's Ooh. just great. And the other guy being such a fantastic utility piece. Um, it's a great team. It's really, really great. There's little, little else to say about it. Um, nice big deep bench, nice ball carrier. There's no fat on the team. Um, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, loads of stand firm as well, but there is a juggernaut. The uh, the Pommer for the Rats does have yeah. juggernaut, so he can get that one push that he needs to score with his. Is is fast boy that he's got hasn't he's got one that's got sprint and uh, two heads. Yeah, he's so. got to he's got to move twelve, lad. Yeah, he's mm. gonna have juggers to get that, so he's still gonna have to defend the one turn. Uh, he will, yeah. Potentially, be no gap, no gaping holes. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, Skib, but yeah, Skib can do anything, can't they? Even without a wizard, they can just roll some dice at any yes, point. Yes, I so mean, uh, those yep. got is one of them. Uh, you know, the one with horns and a string three, a string well, four, uh, leaf. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that, that's the, the thing. It's it's you know it ordinarily you know the matchup would be pretty straightforward. You'd kind of give the nod to these guys because each of those lads is able to punch a gutter runner for two dice. But I mean, they're not though. These guys are strength three. Um, so yeah, it's not that easy. You have to get a couple of guys over to pick on one gutter runner. And if you try to do that, then what gaps have you left? Because chores are not fast. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's going to be a really interesting game. Um, I, I honestly, this is the one I don't know how to call it. I think it's going to be really cracker if the mighty blow manages to go off, which it should. Um, but then it should have against all of the other in all of the other games that uh, Sadla played. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's been very lucky not to get injured on his way through here because he's taken quite a bit of damage or quite a few punches. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be it's going to be a really good one. Yeah, I think I think that I think that that one and the uh, the luminous Davo match, I think they're going to be the best matches uh, to watch. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, like, yes, you know, the most finely balanced, if you like. Yeah, I think there's not a clear favorite here to win Charlie's right now. I wouldn't put money on any of them. No, it's kind of weird. The two best teams are against each other, which is kind of a shame, but also really exciting. Um, mm. And then the, I mean, for the purists, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing PC versus Elliot, just because it's PC versus Elliot. I kind of don't give a shit what their teams are. I just want to see them play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it should be, it should be great. Yeah, all the all the matches, like all the matches, will be interesting, won't they? And uh, there's a couple on this Sunday, so uh, we shall do those. Uh, hopefully, we'll get people in. Can can commentate on those live and uh, get them on the YouTube and everything. And thank you very yeah. much, Kalon and Fimey. Absolutely glorious of you to come in and do this preview with us. Pleasure. Yep. It's always a pleasure to be here. Cheers. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.